I've always tried to disqualify myself. I've always, you're not, not this. Why is that? It always shocks people, even people yeah. that know me really well. They're like, not you. I have that, but there's no way you have it, right? Yeah, you're too confident, too talented, too... All no, and I don't know that I'm too talented, but I think I can fake it pretty well. And um, I disqualify myself because, you know, the truth is that maybe for a while, everything that I got that was love when I was a child only came when I achieved something. Mm -hmm. So I started to conflate early on in my life recognition and significance with love. In other words, my dad would love me if I hit the home run. My dad would love me if I get straight A's. And so then when I would feel these things, but something really amazing, and also like, I'm really big at holding myself, I love to beat myself up with mistakes I've made. I did this, sure, I did that, sure. I should have done this, I didn't do that. And I've always thought these mistakes, these f weaknesses of mine, disqualify me from being happy or helping people. And this br amazing breakthrough, the one decision that changed my family forever is my dad's decision to get sober. And it changed my family forever. I'm talking to you because my dad made that decision. Wow. And I've always been so proud of my dad for that. But this is just two weeks ago, 3.15 in the morning. I wake up, I'm crying. And I wake Christiana up, I go, babe, someone helped dad. And she went, what, honey? I said, someone helped dad. She goes, what do you mean? I said, babe, I never thought about this. In my dad's darkest, worst moment of his life, mm. in some coffee shop or some room somewhere, some precious soul helped my dad. Reached out to him, talked to him. Talked to him and got him sober. Wow. And I said, babe, that's not the powerful part. And I have no idea who this person is, but I wonder if they know the difference they made in Max and Bella's, my children's <sighs> lives, or your life, wow. or the millions of people I've helped. That one decision they made. And she goes, oh my gosh. I said, I never thought about this beautiful human being. I always gave the credit to my dad, but some stranger helped him. And I said, babe, this is the bananas wow. part. Do you know what qualified them to help my dad? Their messed up life. Wow. They were an alcoholic. They were a drug addict. Little did that person know the things they were the most ashamed of, the biggest mistakes of their lives, when they were using drugs and drinking and stealing, mm -hmm. that was qualifying them to change my dad's life. And all of us, we run around carrying these bags of, I'm not qualified because I made this mistake. I had this bankruptcy. This relationship didn't work. I did this thing you don't know about. I'm so ashamed of. And that's why you're qualified. That's the thing that qualifies you. Yeah. The humanness in you. You are the only human being with your combination of gifts that you were given, whatever they are, and your experience. Mm -hmm. And real human beings help real human beings by being vulnerable and yeah. transparent, saying, I know where you are. I've messed up worse. Right. I've made greater mistakes. I felt more. I know that depression. I know that anxiety. I know that shame. I know what that feels like. That beautiful soul who was a drug addict and alcoholic they didn't know all those mistakes they're making were leading them out of their heart. And they finally got to a point where their intention was to help my father. Mm -hmm. In the lowest moment of his life, they changed my dad's life. And wow. they changed mine. And maybe me and you are changing a few today yeah. because of that person's mess. It's crazy. Is that crazy? That's amazing. I know. I know. <laughs> I love them and thank them. <laughs> That's amazing, man.